Hi everyone, my name is Abel Gray Kantoma. I'm from Greatest Card Design Concept. This is actually my WhatsApp contact. You can reach me on this number or you can call me, okay? Uh, these are the list of softwares which I've covered on our YouTube channel. They are very, very much available on that channel. Go down below the description of this video. You'll find the link to that channel. Visit the channel and actually keep yourself busy, okay? Today I'll be showing you uh, some great things in Protoss Structure. I have covered a very wide range of designs using Protoss Structure. Uh, down below the description of this video just go through that link and then um, you find uh, them there in that channel okay we now teach all of these softwares on our telegram platform where we we'll give you the software will guide you on how to install it and also how to crack it on your system okay uh, so let's jump right into it today I'm going to name this uh, let me just name this building okay and then I'll click on OK going to use BS8110 okay here yeah. just pick on this uh, let me make this uh, let's see if this is four okay let me make this uh, let me leave this as it is click on OK Okay, so I will insert my columns. I'm going to be using a reinforced concrete column. Uh, so it's square, 230 by 230. Um, I can just come here, pick the center here. Uh, but I can play with it from this eccentricity, my E1, my E2. I can just type in 115, 115 here to centralize this for me. Okay, so. In order not to waste much of my time, I will just highlight this and place my columns. Okay. Good. Uh, the next thing here, I will insert my beams. Uh, sorry, not beams. I'm going to actually draw a wall. So I will make sure this is at the center. Uh, but uh, let me specify the thickness of this wall. I'm going to be using 230. Um, and then I'll pick the center here, okay. Okay, okay. Sorry, I think I made a little mistake here. Let me delete this. I'm just playing with this right now, okay? Um, just watch me. Okay, good. Okay, let me see. I see I have this. Okay. Good. Now you see what we have here. Uh, take that back to. Okay, let me come to my window here, vertical. So I have uh, a 3D and my 2D at this side. Okay. So whatever I do, you see it's uh, display here in my 3D. Okay. Um. Now what I actually really want to even concentrate on is my slabs. Okay. So if I come to my slab here, um, now my slab type, okay, if I just right click at this place, now you can see here we have, this is one which is showing you that uh, whatever slab we insert right now is going to be an internal uh, slab, okay, uh, that means that slab is actually continuous in all round, okay. So um, this is actually three edges that are continuous. We have one edge discontinuous. Here also we have three edge that are continuous. One edge is discontinuous along this right. Okay, here down here we have one edge that's discontinuous. Uh, here we have two adjacent edge that are actually uh, 
discontinuous or you can say continuous as well so we have two adjacent that are continuous we have two adjacent that are actually discontinuous now we have uh, here we have uh, two edges that are discontinuous they are like opposite edges they are continuous we have one edge that is continuous here we have three edges here that are actually discontinuous i have explained some of these things um on um my uh, previous training too as well but uh, i told as well to explain all of these uh in uh in proto structure so as i can show you this uh practically in the software itself okay um let's go back into that uh let's mean i want to minimize this okay um let me look for my sketch part okay good okay uh, so let's go back into that um, here we have two edges that are actually continuous and two edges that are discontinuous so um, I'm going to be using this to actually uh, briefly explain all of that in uh, this tutorial okay if you already like what you're seeing make sure you like this video uh, give it a thumbs up okay uh, subscribe to this channel is actually 100% uh, free uh, just click on that red button just look for that red button and click on it let's just go back here so here you can see here we have one edge that is actually um, continuous so we have three edges that is continuous along this okay here you can see here uh, that's when you have like a uh, let's say sorry I'm going to draw this at this side Sometimes, um, if you see where you have um, this shape, this is actually telling you that along this direction here, this slab is continuous. What that means is that, that means there is another slab that is coming this way. Okay, when you see here empty, it means there is no any other slab along this part. Okay, so we only have uh, maybe like an external beam or is completely... Uh, facing outside okay so if 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 here also is telling you giving you a, a shape like this it's actually telling you uh, if you see anything like indicating this is telling you that this slab also continues along this part but you know you have to take out all of uh, those uh, panels okay so uh, the software is actually going to analyze and design panel by panel okay so telling you if there be any deflection at each panel so this actually determines how uh, your reinforcement arrangement is actually going to uh, look like you know in a place where you have uh, here is actually uh, continuous here is also continuous for example and here is also continuous but uh, here is actually discontinuous so if here does not really continue but here continues so definitely your reinforcement that is coming this way will continue okay but the reinforcement coming this way for example will have to return so that uh, it will not actually go out of uh, this panel I hope you understand what I'm trying to explain okay so that is just what uh, the continuity discontinuous and all uh, it's talking about okay 
um here i'm going to be deleting some of this as this i just want to explain uh, something to us uh, so let's say here we have maybe uh, a column i'm going to uh, place columns here and then i'm going to insert uh, a slab here so if I come to this lab type, I will have to choose these because this is just a single panel and everywhere here along uh, this direction, this direction, this direction, this direction, where is actually uh, discontinuous. So um, so in that case, if I place this, okay, so this is actually uh, discontinuous along all the directions, okay, it's actually not continuing, there's no any other slab along any uh of this uh part okay so uh that is just what, what it actually means so in that case here you have this uh panel coming like this <coughs> so your reinforcement will actually come in this way it will return this way yeah it will return this way also this also will return and this also will return okay then you have like a top distribution bar Okay, you also have a top distribution bar here. Okay, so here you does not you you will not actually have a a top bar in this uh, panel. So, but um along this now, for example, we are going to have a top bar here. Uh, we are going to have this reinforcement uh, coming this way. It will return here. Coming this way, it will return here. You have a top bar here. But uh, sometimes it depends on the span. You may have it coming this way. Uh, sorry, let me clean this. <coughs> so uh, this one coming this way, okay, overlapping, okay, it will overlap. So it depends on uh, how large that span is actually is. Uh, and then here you have your top uh, distribution bar here. You also have your top distribution bar here. Your, here you have your. So this is going to be your top bar here is going to be your top distribution bar okay your td then here is going to be um then this main reinforcement here is going to be uh your bottom bar you understand that okay <coughs> so uh basically that's just uh what this is actually mean okay so i'm going to just highlight all of this and i'll delete it Okay, so if I let me zoom, yeah. So uh, we are going to be inserting all of those slabs uh, based on the uh, understanding now that we have on this. Okay, so I'll come here to my slab um, type. Okay, so um, uh, sorry about. Okay, good. So here, um, if you look at this, here we have it only continuous at the bottom at this direction. So in that case, I will just come here uh, and choose this. So this actually falls. Sorry, sorry, no, no, <laughs> no. Uh, this is completely the opposite of uh, the other. Okay. Uh, so this here this continuous in all direction um, it does not continue sorry I'm looking for that okay no problem I can as well choose this okay uh, sorry I can as well um, choose this rather so if I choose this now you can see um, from the type 6 I choose okay so it's continue is it discontinuous in this three direction but here it continues here so all I need to do is just to I can actually rotate this okay 
I can I can rotate this at an angle of um, so let's look at this type okay um, <coughs> this type 6 so I'm going to rotate it I'll make this come back to this so I'll I'll make this at um, say 180 So you may not actually notice the difference um, because uh, this shape, uh, this and this are actually uh, kind of uh, similar. So you may not uh, notice uh, the difference in what just happened right now. But it has actually uh, rotated that for us already. Okay, so I'll bring this back to zero. Sorry, no. Thank you. 180. The, the, uh, the slab is still selected, so once I update it, to change the angle. Okay. So, so I will go back to my slab. Um, then I will choose the slab type. You can see this is completely uh, inside. Okay, we have uh, here is discontinuous. Here is also uh, discontinuous. Okay. Uh, so in this way, I'm going to choose this. I'm going to choose this slab, but I'm actually going to rotate it. Okay, so I'm going to pick uh, seven. You can see it's showing us it continues here. It continues here, but in this case, it discontinues here. It discontinues here. So if I pick seven, I pick here, then I can just change the angle to angle 90. And if I update that, it will change that direction. Uh, based on the shape of uh, this uh, design, uh, that is why you may not easily notice uh, the difference in what I'm actually stating as regards to that uh, rotate. Okay, so this is actually similar to this panel and this panel are actually similar. So I'm going to just place that there. Okay, so um, let's say here we have maybe like a a cantilever uh, or sorry like a one way here okay in that case I will just come here and then if I pick uh, I'm going to pick this showing that uh, it continues here and it also continues in this direction so if I, if I click on this and then um, I can just uh, come to my pick point insertion uh, insertion I'll pick on uh, axis like pick axis uh, pick point sorry I'll pick on this point uh, so as you are actually picking uh, you see it inserting itself okay can see it has inserted um, this slab for me but now you see uh, it's showing that it's actually one way and it's actually in uh, this direction that means uh, our main reinforcement will be provided along this span okay uh, so that's the reason behind this so um but let's say for example uh, this one way is along this span for example so it's actually correct as it is right now but uh, let's just assume uh, this is not the direction I can actually change this angle if I make it at angle zero and then I update that you can see it has actually uh, rotated to this direction okay so I'll bring it back to angle 90 now the reason why we did not notice uh, the change in the angle uh, in this because um, this span here and here uh, actually the same and they are all actually uh, one-way slabs okay okay um, so here you can just um, highlight all of this you can generate to the next story
so I will have to insert uh, the number of stories and insert um, insert story. Uh, let's say I have two stories. Okay, so if I click on OK, good. So uh, I'll go back to my story one. on all of this and I'll right click and then I'm going to generate to other member stories I'll generate all of this and I'll click on OK okay good so now you see what we have here so you can actually do your modeling from uh, this software uh, you can actually model your, your walls you can insert openings which I have explained uh, even in the previous uh, trainings on uh, the software uh, you can actually just go down wall opening editor okay if I add this let's say I have a window along that uh, maybe the midpoint of this and then um, what I'll do here is just to insert the size of that uh, window so uh, let's say it's about 1200 by 1200 okay uh, so I'm going to actually centralize this so if I take off uh, 1200 along this I'm going to have uh, 3800 so if I divide 3800 uh, by by 2 that will actually give me uh, the midpoint of this but if you don't want to actually stress your brain uh, you can just type in every system has a calculator so if you have 3800 uh, divided by 2 uh, you're going to have 1900 so along the x which is uh, here is our x direction here is actually y direction so along the x direction I have 1900 so if I click here you can see it has a centralized uh, this window for us and then um, the height here from the bottom uh, to the uh, bottom of the window uh, usually is actually usually used uh, 900 uh, is actually the the height when you are using 1200 okay so if I actually close click on that now you can see we have our window so you can actually rotate to see uh, what you have so um, exactly what I have here as a window I can actually even place that uh, here okay um, let's say we have a like a normal door here I can actually insert a door there if I just click here and then I go back to uh, my edit wall uh, wall uh, opening editor and then at the middle there um, if I just add here at the midpoint here uh, sorry I'm not seeing um, the length here uh, but let's say we just have an opening around there and then uh, this height of the door is actually um, your 2100 uh, okay so um, the width I'm going to make it uh, let's say 1500 and then the height uh, is 2100 okay so um, I'm just going to take it at a distance of uh, 3 meters for example and then um, so if you have time you can actually uh, readjust all of that you can even create two openings along uh, a particular window so or uh, a particular uh, wall okay you can create two openings let's say we have two doors uh, along this so here I'm going to have at 6,000 another opening okay so you can see I have two uh, doors along this. Okay. Um, now the software actually. Okay. So let me go back here and uh, re-edit that. Um, uh, this. Wall opening. Okay. Um, 
now you can see that my y is showing me that is zero here too my y is showing me that is actually uh zero uh now the the software ordinarily will actually add plus the height of your um plus the height of your foundation as well okay so if you take a very close look at this you can see that the opening is actually not showing you that this opening is actually at the mid of uh, this height okay so um but you can actually create like a plinth uh, beam so as to uh, differentiate uh, the normal ground floor uh, to uh, the your substructure okay uh, so because uh, the software itself will actually uh, show you your foundation directly even with the columns that enters deep into uh, your foundation okay uh, so uh, that is just how uh, the software will actually uh, display to you okay so but if we go down to edit story here uh, let's come to edit story uh, it's still loading now you can see the foundation depth is showing you 1100 so that is actually the depth okay of uh, this foundation you can see it here if we insert um, our foundation if we insert our, our foot base uh, you will see it actually uh, showing at this level as well so but um, let's let's play with this okay an acceptable foundation must be provided in order so let's let's reduce this uh, to let's see for example I just want to show you uh, something now you can see uh, it's now showing you uh, just the way it should be because it's just a difference of like a hundred okay but you cannot have a depth of foundation to be hundred please okay I'm just doing this just to show you uh, the reason why uh, this um, our door opening was actually up okay so you can see uh, this hundred is showing you that uh, it's actually part of uh, the foundation okay so you can actually play with the software to actually achieve what you are actually looking for uh, in your design you can actually model with the software and get other great things I'm going to be doing a whole lot of uh, great modeling uh, using the software so as to give you a better insight of what you can actually do uh, with your software uh, proper structure okay so make sure that you stay safe and make sure that you actually uh, stay blessed okay